Listen, Matt. I wonder how Azelf and his friends are doing. You think that they may be fighting Grovile now? Oh, I can't just, I can't sleep with that on my mind. But if you stop to think, this is all so strange. I mean, Pokemon coming here from the future? Some, something like that really is possible? It's true. It's hard to accept that Pokemon could come from the future. Come to think of it, that's never, this never crossed my mind before. The world of, of the future where Dusknoir and Grovile came from. What is it like? Is the future like the present day? Is it a world at peace? Oh. It's another early day tomorrow. I better force myself to sleep. I'm going to sleep, Matt. Good night. Tomorrow, let's do our best. Good night. Next morning. Up and at him. I don't want to save my progress. I am going to make a save state, however. And up. Alright, with that out of the way, hello everybody, Matthew the Skunk here, welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. Last time, we met up with Azelf in the Crystal Cave and had a fateful encounter with Grovile in order to protect the Time Gear from from being stolen from him, from, from Azelf. In this episode, we're hopefully going to be getting some progress done on what's the update on the Snore finding Grovile. Let's get started. <laughs> About the attempt to capture Grovile, we have to receive word that Grovile has been captured. I understand that you all that you're all itching for something to happen, but consider this a test of your patience. Because we ask you to carry all your usual work. Oh, was that Siren? Deputy Magnemite is here. This is a message from Officer Magnazone. We are pleased to deliver this report. Grovile has finally been captured. Whoa, at last! My gosh, Grovile has been caught! Oh my gosh, they did it! Yippee! There's more. Grovile was captured by the Great Desknor. He has informed me that he will return to the future with Grovile. Desknor is... going home? Going back to the future? How do you go back? I do not claim to understand the process, but I've heard that they will be going through a tunnel. He he called it a dimensional hole. He opened a dimensional hole in the town's main square, I am told. Destinor told us that he wishes to say goodbye before he leaves. Therefore, he hopes that you'll come see him for the last time at Treasure Town Square. Hey, hey, well, what are we doing here? Let's hurry, we have to go to Treasure Town. Everyone's already here. Hey, hey, I don't see the Great Disco around yet. What's that? That is a dimensional hole. Dimensional hole? Oh, what Magnum I was trying to explain earlier. Golly, this is it? Isn't that something? So stepping inside your own... So stepping inside this here thing will take you to the future? Watch out! Stay clear! The instant you touch it, you'll be sent to the future. Please be extremely careful. Ooh. Hey! Yuxi! Mess Spirit! Nazzle too! Dustin! You're all safe! I'm glad to see that! Naturally. So was the plan successful? Yep. I have to hand it to the Great Dustnor. It was flawless. Grovile has been captured. And we regained all the time gears he'd stolen. Yes, it's excellent. Dustnor should be should be along shortly. Oh, who's that? It's the Great Dustnor. Here comes the Great Dustnor. Everyone make way! That's... That's Grovile? He looks like a bad guy, that's for sure. <laughs> it's great they finally caught him. 
That's right. The world was nearly ruined because of him. Everyone, today I'd like to share some sh excellent news with you. Finally, Grovile. Grovile has been captured. This was all made possible by your self selfless support and cooperation. I can't thank you enough. As you can see, Grovile is a wicked and vicious and wicked Pokemon. His capture should result in lasting peace for your world. <clears throat> Looks like they have Grovile nuzzled. Can't say a word that way. But I must also deliver a sad piece of news. It is time for me to return to the future. Everyone, I must now bid you farewell. Oh, so that was true. Hey, hey! I'm feeling the blues. There was so much I wanted to learn from you, Yip Yip. Yuxi, Mesmer, Azelf, I entrust you with the rest. Yep, we know. We got the time gears back, and we'll make sure they return to their rightful places. The task is yours. Thank you very much for everything. You have literally saved us all. Oh no no, you have been most kind and helpful. I hope you will. I hope you will continue to work to preserve the peace. Yes, we can depend on that. Now, I'm afraid the time has come. Everyone, though it pains me. Oh, I hate sad goodbyes. I uh, oh, we see you again. Ah! That's the worst, sir! Ah! Oh, yes. Before I go, I must see two Pokemon. Dustin and Matt. That's us. Let's go up there. So this is really goodbye. That's the worst, sir. For everything you've done, thank you, sincerely. Well, this is goodbye. Or is it? What? It's too soon for farewells. Whoa! You two are coming with me! Whoa! My gosh! Dustin! Matt! What was... What just happened? Chapter 14, Into the Future. Uh, where is this? I was dragged? I can't. Losing consciousness again. I am sorry to have kept you waste I am sorry to have kept you waiting, Master Dialga. While I encountered more dif while I encountered more difficulty than anticipated, I finally succeeded. In the capture, yes. <laughs> I fully understand what must be done. Those who seek to alter the course of history must be removed from history. I will see to the elimination immediately. <laughs> I understand. As you wish. I take my leave. Hey! Matt! Wake up! Uh, where? You're awake! This place... I think it's a jail. Jail?! 
I just woke a while ago, so I'm not sure what's going on. I tried the doors, but they're locked. There seems to be no other way out. I think we've been locked up. Ugh. What's going on? We're locked up? I don't know what's going on either. But I may as well investigate. Just got to open. It's no good. Like Dustin said, these doors won't open. Sure looks like you've been locked up. Hmm. How, how do we get out this way? I think what happened was Duskmore grabbed us. Then he dragged us through the dimensional hole. What? Wait, so is this maybe... Is this... The future? But that's... I can't believe this! I mean, this is the future! Why are we even here? Uh, but... The whole room was constructed in a way unlike anything I've ever seen. Now I have time to digest this. Maybe this is... Maybe this actually is... The future. Ah, uh, Matt! Did we really end up in the future? Now what should we do? So if... If this place is in the... If this is... If this place is the future... How are we supposed to get back to our world? They're awake. How convenient. Alright, we'll do this quick. Do this quick? Do what? What? Ah, they blindfolded me! I can't see a thing! Come with us. Ow, don't shove me! Ugh. This blindfold makes it impossible to tell where I'm going. But where are they taking us? We're here. Where is this? Damn me, tr tr trust up. I can't move. Why is this happening? Hey! Dustin! Am I glad to see you? You're okay, right? <laughs> You're clueless about what's going to happen. I guess you can afford to be non nonchalant about it. Huh? That voice came from over there. Grovile! You two, do you have any inkling about where you are? No. This is a stockade. They're preparing to get rid of us for good. What? G get rid of us? Wait a second. It's easy to understand why they want to get rid of you, Grovile. But why us? We haven't done anything wrong. <laughs> I could care less. You must have done something that they can't tolerate. What? We haven't done anything bad! Don't think we don't think that we're like you! I don't care. You're wasting time losing your cool. Meanwhile, look. Here they come. Ah, who are they? They're the jailers who do all the dirty work around here. They also happen to be Dusk Noir's underlings. What? The Great Dusk Noirs? Hey, it's Dusk Noir! Lord Dusk Noir, the three have been tied to the stakes. Good. Dusk Noir, sir! It's me, Dustin! Very well, Sableye. Those three, we need to be rid of them. What? Pay them no heed. You may get ready. <laughs> Wait a minute, Dust Noir, sir! What's wrong with you? Why are you doing this to us? Don't waste your breath. Indeed. Instead, shh. Keep your voices down so they can't hear you. Keep my voice down? You two. If you want to get away, give me your full cooperation. What? Help you, Grovile? There's no time to think. Or would you prefer to stick around for them? Psst. Hey, you there. Tell me, what can you do right now? 
What? What can I do? You asked me that out of nowhere. Um, what do I do? Move. Work, but no, that's no good. We're trussed up, so we can't move. That's it. That'll do. If it's just a regular attack, I can help too. Good. Then are we ready to begin? Very well. But be vigilant to the end. Don't take your eyes off of them. Especially that girl vial. Yeah. Commence. Now! Yeah. They're coming! Listen carefully. Sableye use, use claws to strike. Yikes, that sounds scary! That might just open one avenue to escape. The Sableye will unleash their fury swipes in a frenzy. That's our chance. If one of their attacks were to hit the ropes binding us. Oh, right! The ropes might just come loose! Exactly. If that happens, lash out with an attack, then flee! But... What if their fury swipes and slash the ropes? And what if... What if the Sableye don't use fury swipes at all? <laughs> That happens. Don't even think about it. Ah! Uh, endure it. Wait for your chance. Fish before a chance comes. Hey! There's a break in the rope. Now! Attack! Go! What is this? There. Yeah! We can't see! Compose yourselves. It's only a lush luminous orb. Its effects wear off quickly. Blast it! That grovile. He fled using the flash from the luminous orb's cover. They won't get away with this. Come! I get dirt in my mouth. Where? We're safe. So Groval can use dig? Sure knows many moves. We got out of that scrape. But we're not out of the woods yet. Let's get out of here and fast. Come on, this way! We need to keep running until we hit the exit! Come on, faster, pick it up! This is the fastest I can go! Quit ordering me around! Anyways, Grovile. What? This is. Is this the future? That's right, you catch on fast. So it is, after all. Are we. Are we going to be able to get back to our world? Who knows? We just need to get away for now. If we get caught, returning home returning home will be the least of your worries. Run faster! I can't! I'm exhausted! <sighs> We're almost there. Look, the exit's right there! <sighs> we did it! We're outside! What? What is this? This is... our world? In the future? Those boulders are floating. This is really a strange place. It's horribly dark. Not even the wind blows. As... It, it's as if... of movement... As if everything stopped. Exactly. What? <laughs> I hear the same light! We have to keep running. <sighs> Listen, Grovile, I'm exhausted. There's no time to rest. If they catch us, we're done. Tough it out and run. 
That's easy for you to say. <laughs> I can't. I have to rest. All right. <sighs> this forms a this forms a natural alcove. This should shield us for from you. After a quick rest, we'll need to get moving again. Wait a minute. When we escaped from the stockade, we co cooperated with you because we had no other choice. We didn't promise we'd go with you afterward. A bad Pokemon like you. You're not worth trusting. Dustin. <laughs> so I'm the bad guy. Now Dustin Moore is the good guy. And how about explaining Dustin Moore's actions earlier? It wasn't just me. They wanted you gone too. Ugh. But that doesn't mean I should put my faith in you. Earning your trust isn't an easy task, it seems. I thought having allies would help, but there's no point in continuing together without trust. We'll go our separate ways. I'm staying on the move. You two should get moving as soon as possible. Good luck. Wait a second! You tell us to leave soon, but it's dark out now, so it's hard to see where we're going. If Stead is staying off again, why not wait here till morning? Wouldn't it be better to leave when it gets light out? That isn't possible. I hate to say it, but morning never comes. What? This world. Your future. It's a world of perpetual darkness. The sun never rises, so morning never comes. The darkness persists forever. Why? Because the planet has been paralyzed. The planet is paralyzed? The planet's paralysis. The planet's paralysis! That's right, I remember now! Deskmore described the planet's paralysis before. There was nothing less than causing the planet's paralysis. The planet's paralysis? Yes. If the planet becomes paralyzed, all movement upon it ceases. It is just a flash. I'll just skip through this text. The planet's paralysis. Sure, this place resembles Dust Noir's description, but even then, it's hard to understand how the planet has been paralyzed in the future. You're free to believe. Or reject what I'm telling you. Either way, I suggest you leave here as soon as you can. I'm going. Don't let those Sableye catch you. Man, I don't know what to think anymore. Wasn't the planet's paralysis supposed to be caused by all those time gears mi going missing? That's why we tried to stop Groval from stealing all the time gears. We did everything we were supposed to, right? Yuxi and the others said they would return to recapture Time Gears f to their rightful places. That should have prevented the planet's paralysis. But despite all our efforts, why is the planet still paralyzed? In our future? Uh, I don't know who or what to believe anymore. Ah, the Sable Light! We can't stay here. Let's get ready quickly so we can get moving. And with that, I think that'll be a good place to end off the episode. So, next time on Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, we'll be heading into... We'll be starting in the Chasm Cave, so... Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more, and please don't forget to hit the bell button to get notified when my videos get uploaded. And I'll see you all next time. Skunk over and out.